Remember, when Alan Watts said, this image of ourselves is obviously not ourselves. Any more than an idea of a tree is a tree. Any more than you can get wet in the word water. And to go on with our image of ourselves is extremely inaccurate and incomplete. He explained, the image I have of myself as a caricature, it is arrived at through mainly my interaction with other people who tell me who I am in various ways, either directly or indirectly. As he said himself, and I play about with what their picture is of me, and they play something back to me, so that we set up this conception. How often we cling to an image of ourselves, a persona we've crafted through years of experiences, expectations, and societal pressures. Yet this image, as intricately designed as it may be, is not the entirety of our being. A lot of the current quest for identity among younger people is a search for an acceptable image. What role can I play? Who am I in the sense of what am I going to do in life? Who am I in the grand design of things? And so on and on and on. This journey of self-discovery is not without its challenges. It requires us to confront parts of ourselves we may have ignored or hidden away. Yet, it's in this exploration that we find the opportunity for genuine growth and transformation. No one gives us a rule book to life. No one is perfect. We are all just trying our best from our own perspective and our own viewpoint. This realization that our self-image is but a fraction of our true essence is both liberating and humbling. Without creating the foundation of self-love, no amount of love that you give to someone or to a project will ever make you feel better. So whether you are experiencing problems with a situation, a person, a circumstance, it doesn't matter. What matters is what you do with yourself. It's a call to live more fully, to love more deeply, and to engage with the world with a renewed sense of wonder and the power that you give yourself. We love you and thank you for watching.